。各位大家晚安，阿弥陀佛。嗯、呃，今天非常非常的荣幸哈，能够呃邀请到呃这个确准法师呢，来到我们农禅寺来进行这一场演讲。那我们世界佛教这个讲座哈，就是法鼓讲堂的这个特别的讲座，这段时间都有很多很精彩，而且很殊胜、很特别的一个呃讲座，在这边带给我们很多很多的启发。那我们今天非常非常的荣幸，呃，邀请到确准法师来到这边。那呃，确准法师大家都认识，我们刚刚也看了这个简介的影片哈。那呃，我要介绍一下今天的这个。翻译哈啊是呃药慈法师药光药的药慈悲的慈哈那法师的中英文都非常的好，所以大家可以呃等一下如果有发问的话，你要用中文发问或是英文发问都没有问题。那接下来的时间我们就留给法师，那我们一起来聆听法师今天的开示。阿弥陀佛。你陪咪行 ，OK， 阿弥陀佛。So that's the extent of my English, vo-、uh, my Chinese vocabulary. So I have to speak to you in English. Excuse me. <laughs> 真的是很抱歉，就阿弥陀佛这几个字，就是我所了解的中文和华语，就一一尽管一一定要以英语跟你们一起分享佛法。But I'll tell you a funny story about me and Amitofo. 但是开始讲座之前，先跟你们分享一个有趣的故事，是关于我跟阿弥陀佛的故事。So I took my novice ordination in Dharamsala in the Tibetan tradition, 1977, and then I came to Taiwan in 1986. Yeah, 1986 to take the Bhikshuni ordination. 所以我是在一九九七年在达兰萨拉那里受了沙弥尼戒，然后在一九八六年来到了台湾来受三三坛大戒。And some of you may know Venerable Heng Ching, and she met me at the airport, and、uh, she got me Chinese robes because I had to wear those for the ordination. Put me on a bus to Kaohsiung.、Uh, somebody picked me up at the bus station and took me to the temple. 那可能你们有些人会认识恒清长老尼。那当时就恒恒清法师就在那个呃巴士站跟呃帮呃约呃呃接我，在巴士站接我，然后教我怎么穿汉汉传的僧服，因为需要穿汉传的僧服到戒场，然后就这样把我送上巴士再去高雄。So remember, you know, I I haven't been to Taiwan before. I know nothing about Chinese culture, Chinese language, Chinese Buddhism. Okay. 那你们要记得，当时的我对汉传佛教啊、华人的文化完全呃、完全、完全都不了解。So when we get to the temple, uh, <coughs> one nun uh says to me, "What what is your Chinese name?" And I said, "I don't have one." 所以当时我到了戒场的时候，就有位呃女女众的法师来问我说：“哎，您的法师，您的中文的法名是什么呢？”那我就跟他说：“哎，我没有中文的法名。” So she said, "Sit here, and I will go ask the master for a Chinese name for you." 那您就坐在，他就跟法师说：“哎，您先坐在这儿，我就现在去找戒师，叫他呃，请请大师傅呃，给您取一个中文的法名。” So I'm sitting there. And you know how people come by and they they see you and they say no, they say I'm a tofu, and somebody else walks by and says I'm a tofu. 那我就坐在那里，哎，你们也知道啊，台湾人很热诚，就一直有人路过就会合掌跟他说阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛。Yeah. And and then the that nun, you know, somebody came back and said, Well, do you have your Chinese name now? And I said. I think it must be Amitofo. That's what everybody's calling me. So at that time, I was sitting there, and another nun came back and said, "Hey, someone gave you your Chinese name, right?" He said, "I think it must be Amitofo." So I said, "Well, I guess I'm going to go and ask the master." And then she looked at me like, "I'm going to go and ask the master." 
<laughs> so quite embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> 其实很尴尬那时候。Yeah. Okay. Uh, so before actually giving the talk, I always like to,、uh, you know, have everybody sit and watch our breath for a minute and cultivate a motivation. So let's do that, and then we'll have the talk. And after the talk, we'll have some questions and maybe answers. <laughs> so, in starting the talk, I like to sit and watch everyone sit. So now we're going to sit together, close our eyes, and breathe in and out and calm our hearts. 然后讲座之后会有一点时间发问。Is to begin by feeling yourself sitting here, your body's here. Bring your mind here also. 所以一开始先感触到你的身体在这个房间内，把心带来这里。And then, just scan your body briefly and see if there's any tightness anywhere. And if there is, release it. So now, put your attention on your body to scan your body in different parts. If there is any tightness or tension in your body, you can slowly release it. Then bring your attention to the breath, and simply watch the breath as you inhale and exhale. 那现在把你的注意力放在你的呼吸，就这样观呼吸。And as you watch the breath, be aware of its constantly changing nature. How it doesn't remain the same in the next moment. When you're in breath, you can also notice how it is constantly changing. Every moment, it is constantly changing. If you get distracted, just notice that. Bring your attention home to the breath. If you get distracted, just notice that. Bring your attention home to the breath. 之后就把你的心带回到你的呼吸。So do this for a couple of minutes and let the mind relax. 我们就花几分钟观呼吸，让我们的心放松、平静下来。So our intention is the most important part of any action we do. So our intention is the most important part of any action we do. So our intention is the most important part of any action we do. So our intention is the most important part of any action we do. So our intention is the most important part of any action About us afterwards. We need to measure our actions. Is it good or bad? It depends on our intention or our thoughts. It is not that we need to measure what people do after we do something. It is good or bad. Because often we are、um, actually if we look closely, we are really acting on what we think. If we look at our mind closely, we are really often not very aware of why we are doing what we are doing. 因为当我们仔细观察我们自己的想法还有理念的时候，其实我们会发现，我们时常不清楚为什么我们在做我们所做的事情。Yeah, we make a lot of decisions, but sometimes just because, well, that's what people expect me to do, and without really thinking about why we're doing something. 
因为我们在生活中做出很多决定，做出很多选择，但可能就是因为其他人期望我们这么做，我们就这么去做，反而就没有思维到我们自己为什么要进行这些行动。Yeah, so it's like we're living on automatic. 就好像我们就这样自动被自动这样活下去，没有思维到我们为什么要进行这些不同的呃活动。So one of the first things the Buddha is asking us to do is to look at our motivation and be very honest about what it is. 那佛陀第一件所指导我们的是，就是要向内看我们所作所为的动机到底是什么？为什么我们会进行不同的动作 ？And if we have a rotten, selfish motivation, then change it. 那如果我们发现我们的动机是恶劣的，其实很自私的，我们就有机会把它转变。Yeah. Lots of times we can have a rotten motivation for doing something, but the we make it so that the action itself looks good, and other people praise us for it. 那有很多时候，我们的动机其实是很恶劣的，但是我们在外把自己显现成好像很好的样子，因为我们希望会被别人赞叹。Do you ever do that? 你有没有这么做？嗯嗯嗯。Yeah. So everybody says, "Oh, what you did was so kind, so benevolent." So compassionate, but you know inside, you did it to impress other people so that they would like you and give you something. So, 可能在外面很多人跟你说，哎呀，你好善良，好慈悲啊，真的是，真是好人。但是你心里就知道，其实你自己做出这些行为是为了要得到别人的赞叹，其实是为了希望他们会给你什么东西。Or you give some donation, and you hope that they'll put your name on, carve it somewhere on the board. You know when people enter, so that you can see your name, and other people can see your name, and then they'll think, "Oh, how generous that person is!" But that was exactly your motivation to have other people think like that. 那可能你也呃供养呃，还是有做捐款，但是心里的想法是哦，真是希望他们会把我的名字刻得很大，刻在那个板上。那所有人来看的时候就会说：“哎，你这个人真的是很慷慨。” Ever do that？ 有没有这么做 ？No， 没有，没有。No， it's always other people who act like that， isn't it？ 不是我这么做嘛？每次都是别人才会这么做，不是吗 ？Those other people are such hypocrites. 哎呀，其他人才这么虚伪。Right? <laughs> yeah. But me, I'm a perfect Buddhist. <laughs> 但是我呢，我是最理想的佛教徒。Yeah, I'm filled with compassion. For everybody, except all the people I can't stand. <laughs> 我的心就是充满了慈悲，为所有众生而发的慈悲心，除了那些我讨厌的人。Yeah. If you're nice to me, oh, I have so much compassion for you. But if you talk about me behind my back, even if what you say is true, true. I have no compassion for you. So if you're nice to me, I'll be very compassionate to you. But if you talk behind my back, even if what you say is true, 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 Whatever. Well, too bad for them. So I have a lot of compassion for my family and my friends. It's very heavy. But for others, it's like the people who are suffering from the earthquake or the tsunami, I don't care about them. Yeah, they're just strangers. Why should I care about them? They're just strangers. Why should I care about them? 
他们都是陌生人，为什么我要去关怀他们？嗯、hmm? ，So we divide people into three categories: friends who we're attached to, enemies who we can't stand, and、uh, strangers who we're just apathetic towards. 所以我们就把所有的众生分为三类：我们的朋友，我们就对他们执着；对敌人。起嗔恨心，然后第三个是陌生人，我们就就对他们毫无关心。Now, what do you think the Buddha would think about that? 你觉得佛陀对我们这种想法会有什么意见呢 ？Yeah, does the Buddha divide people into friends, enemies, and strangers? 佛陀会把众生分为朋友、敌人跟陌生人吗 ？Would you trust the Buddha? If he divided people into friends, enemies, and strangers, 如果佛陀把众生分为朋友、敌人跟陌生人，你会信赖佛陀吗 ？I don't think so. 我猜是不会吧。<laughs> If we're looking for a good object of refuge, it has to be somebody who has equanimity towards everybody. Because if they don't, we might be the person who gets left out. Because if we want to find a good object of refuge, we first need to find someone who has equanimity towards everybody. Because if they don't, we might be the person who gets left out. Because if we want to find a good object of refuge, we first need to find someone who has equanimity towards everybody. Because if they don't, we might be the person who gets left out. 当我们忽略别人的时候，我们也是觉得是非常正常的事情。Yeah, because they're just useless jerks anyway. 因为他们都是王八蛋嘛。Right? And all your friends agree with you that those people are useless jerks. 那所有你所有的朋友也跟你同意说，哎，那些人都是没用的王八蛋。And that's what makes those people your friends. Because if they thought that other person was good, then you wouldn't like them, right? So you have to have all your friends holding the same rotten ideas you have, and then that's what bonds you with your friends. 那就是因为你叫这些人是你的朋友，是因为他们就是完全同意你的理念，对不对？就是。同意你觉得那个人真的是一个不不是好人来的，就因为你们有相同的想法，你才觉得哎，这是我的朋友。Yeah, have you ever noticed that at workplaces? Yeah, you gravitate towards all the people who can't stand the same person in the office. 你有没有留意到，好像在办公室啊，工作的范围，你们就是说，所有不喜欢一个人的的。同同事就全部会群党在一起排斥那个人。Yeah, and that's how we bond with other people in the office is because we sit around and we talk about how rotten that person is, and we all agree so we're friends. 那我们在办公室是怎么跟别人结交呢？就是全部群党在一起啊，说那个人的坏话，这样因为我们全部同意他是坏人，我们就变成朋友。But when you hear your young children. Talking like that about another classmate, what do you do? Do you think that's good for your kid to talk about that? To you know, join together with other kids and badmouth somebody else? 但当你们听到你自己的小孩子的时候，他们群党起来啊，排斥说说别的孩子的坏话，你觉得这是好事吗？你会同意他们这么做吗？ No, if your child were doing that, you would stop and say, "No, look, you know, try and be nice, or at least, you know, don't talk badly about this other child." You 不会嘛，对吗？如果是你的孩子这样说别的孩子的坏话，你会叫他哎，你应该停下来，这种呃，不要不要说别人的坏话，至少对他好一点。But we behave just the opposite. 但是我们自己就却反而做呃。没有听自己给孩子的那个劝劝导、uh, ，right? We tell our kids be nice to other people,、uh, but then what do our kids see? Is they see us talking bad about all sorts of people and blaming them and like that. 
我们就不是这么做吗？当我们跟我们的孩子说：“哎，要对人家友善”，但是他们看到我们的行为，反而是在说别人的坏话。Okay. My mother had a、uh, an ex- a saying. It was, "Do as I say, not as I do." <laughs> <laughs> 所以我的母亲有一个跟我每次跟我说的话，就是说：“你要听我讲的话，但是你不要学我的做法。” In other words, she had the liberty to do all sorts of nasty things, but I didn't. So he is a grown man; he has the space to do all sorts of nasty things. But I didn't. So he is a grown man; he has the space to do all sorts of nasty things. But I didn't. So he is a grown man; he has the space to do all sorts of nasty things. But I didn't. So he is a grown man; he has the space to do all sorts of nasty things. But I didn't. So he is a grown man; he has the space to do all sorts of nasty things. Not so much through what their parents say, but through how their parents act. Because children are not listening to their parents, but they are learning from their parents. 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 Oh, when you get to be adults, then you should fight amongst each other and criticize each other, and you can also criticize me as your parents because that's how I treat my parents. So, if you are always criticizing your parents, criticizing your brothers, sisters, brothers, and parents, you are also saying to your children, "When you grow up, you can also criticize me as your brothers, sisters, brothers, and parents. You can also criticize me as your parents because I am criticizing my parents." What do you think? You 觉得怎么样 ？I bet you want me to change the subject. <laughs> 你们是不是要我改变话题 <laughs> ？But this is actually quite important. Yeah. 但其实这件事是非常重要，值得我们思维的。Yeah, especially if you hold biases, if you hold prejudices against groups of people. Yeah. And you're acting that way. You're teaching your kids to be biased and prejudiced and bigoted. Do you really want to teach your child that? 特别是如果你自己在心里有偏执，对某某社会的某个组织、某某群人有什么偏见，你你真的要教你的孩子跟你一样这这有这样的想法、一样的行为吗 ？Okay. When you yell and scream at your spouses and call them names and throw things at them, yeah, do you want your children to to have a marriage like that? That's what'll happen if they see you acting that way. 如果你对你自己的伴侣这样每次吵架、丢东西、乱喊乱叫，你对给孩子的模范是什么呢？你要他们看到你的婚姻是这样吗？ Okay, so when we really care about the future generations, yeah, then we have to clean up our own behavior for their benefit. So if we really care about the future generations, we have to clean up our own behavior for their benefit. So many relatives don't speak to other relatives. 那我在我自己的家庭里，有很多亲戚其实对其他的亲戚都啊、uh, 开始有冷战。Yeah, in any for any of you, do you, do you come from families like that? 你们的家庭有这个问题吗 ？Yeah, they don't speak to each other. In my family, whenever you have a family event, you know. It's impossible to make a seating chart because you can't ever keep straight who's not talking to who. 就是一直在做冷战啊，彼此不肯交谈。那当我们有庆典的时候啊，大家一起聚集，要怎么安排位置，真的是很辛苦，因为都很难记得谁跟谁不肯说话。Yeah. So I don't know how far. In in many generations, this went,、uh, but I know with my grandparents' level, yeah, that my grandmother and her siblings, so many of them didn't speak to each other. 那我
不，我不太清楚，说我们整个家庭到底有几代的祖先已经开始有这种呃问题了。但是我还记得说是在我的婆婆那里开始，她就跟她自己的呃亲友都开始呃不肯交谈。But somehow they had、uh, some holiday property, you know,、uh, where they each had like a、uh, an apartment there. And I remember being a kid. And saying and hearing, you know, okay, those people in that block upstairs, you don't talk to them. <laughs> 那我们的全家有一些房子都是在暑假的时候才去那里玩的。那我还记得我小时候到了那那那那里的时候，我的父母就跟我说：“哎，你看到那边的孩子，呃，你不可以跟他们说话，不可以跟他们玩。” Yeah, I'm like, why? 我就问父母为什么。And it was just well, they aren't nice people. They just say, "Oh, they're not nice people." Yeah. So I think at some point I must have heard the story, what happened, why they don't talk to each other, but I can't even remember that. What I remember is, do not talk to them. That maybe I one definitely for a time, my parents, I guess, will explain the story. Why we don't talk to them? But I don't remember the story. I only remember that my parents told me to not talk to them. But I don't remember the story. I only remember that my parents told me to not talk to them. But I don't remember the story. I only remember that my parents told me to not talk to them. But I don't remember the story. I only remember that my parents told me to not talk to them. But I don't remember the story. I only remember that my parents told me to not talk to them. But I don't remember So, I was a kid. 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 I And the government was saying we are going over there and we are killing people so that we can all live in peace. 在我长大的时候，就是美国在越南打战争，然后政府就跟我们说，我们在那里杀人是为了制造和平。And I thought, I, I mean, I'm just a kid. Yeah, you kill people so you can live in peace. I don't understand grown-ups. They don't make much sense. <laughs> 那我那时候还是小孩，但但是我听到大人说，我们去那里杀人是为了制造和平。Okay. 真的是不了解，觉得这是非常不可理喻的一种想法。Then to return to my family. At that time, when I was real small, all my mother's brothers and sisters they talked to each other. But then, as time went on, different things happened, and that one no longer talks to this one, who no longer talks to that one, and you know, again the same thing. And、uh, you know, I couldn't figure. I would hear again. I mean, I still don't understand why they didn't talk to each other. <laughs> You know, I mean, some somebody's child did said something to one of the aunts, who didn't like that, and anyway, you know, so the families don't talk. 那回回过头来谈我的家庭，那我的母亲那一代的亲戚也是一样，可能开始的时候还是跟互相有交谈，但是久而久之，过了一段时间，就开始开始于是做冷战。不也不不知道为什么啊，谁跟谁啊，可能谁的孩子将讲谁的阿姨的坏话还是什么，就开始不要不肯与互相交流。Then I thought my generation is going to be different. 那我心里就想，我们的我的年代会完全不一样。Yeah, we aren't like our foolish parents and grandparents. <笑>我们就不像我们的父母跟我们的呃、uh, 公公婆婆那一代那么愚笨。<笑> But then. <笑> As I got older, I watched with my cousins. This one doesn't talk to that one. Who doesn't talk to this one? Who doesn't talk to this one? And so on. 但是我也留意到，到我们成长了之后呢，看到我自己的表哥、表弟、表姐、表妹等等，也开始有同样的行为，就是不肯与互相交谈。So it's a very good example of how parents teach their kids. Through example, 
Yeah, starting with the grandparents, to the parents, to my generation, and then probably to the next generation too. And it's really pitiful, isn't it? It's very sad. So from my personal experience, I can see that children are learning how to change their actions from their parents. 自己的行，自己的行为就是从父母那里学到的。那就这样代代相传下来，从呃，从呃公公婆婆那里传到父母，到孩子，到现在。所以我觉得真的是很遗憾的一件事。And you really think about it. What is the use of holding these grudges against other people? How does that benefit you? 那我们要问我们自己：我们这样一代一代的，在心里怀着这种抱怨的心态，到底会利益谁呢 ？Yeah, we we this is how our pride comes in. Yeah, somebody does something we don't like, and we're not going to put up with it. And we make a very strong vow. I am never going to speak to that person again. 那我们这里就看得到我们的傲慢心是怎么起的。当有人做出我们不喜欢的事情，我们就在那里发愿说：“我永远也是不会再跟这个人说话。” Okay. Now, on the other hand, when you take the five precepts and you promise the Buddha not to do five different actions. You renegotiate those, don't you? When it's convenient. 但是当你在受三规五戒的时候啊，特别是五戒，当有有对你有方便的时候，你就跟佛陀开始谈谈条件。But when we make a vow never to speak to anybody again, we never break that vow. 但是如果我们发誓发愿说，我永远也不会跟这个人再说话，我们是不会把他给放弃的。Yeah, we promise the Buddha not to lie, but well,、mm, it's just a small lie. <laughs> so we promise the Buddha that oh, I'm not going to lie anymore. But when we have the opportunity, it's just a small lie. You promise the Buddha not to drink, but <gasps> I'm not drunk. 那你答应佛陀说，嗯，我是不会再饮酒了。但哦，又说我没醉啊。Yeah, in your marriage vows, you promise to be faithful to your partner, but then there's somebody over there who's really good looking.、嗯、当你结婚的时候，你会说，呃，发誓发愿说，对你的伴侣一定要忠诚，但。哎，那里的人好像蛮好看的嘛。But we are very virtuous people, aren't we? We're not like those other people who do all sorts of negative actions. 但其实我们是很友善、很好的人嘛，不像其他人，是其他人才做出这种不善的行为。Yeah. So, do you understand why the Buddha has compassion for us? Because <laughs> we're pretty confused. So, from here, you can see why the Buddha has so much compassion for us. Because we can see why the Buddha has so much compassion for us. Because we can see why the Buddha has so much compassion for us. Because we can see why the Buddha has so much compassion for us. Because we can see why the Buddha has so much compassion for us. Because we can see why the Buddha has so much compassion for us. 我们都是要离苦得乐，但反而我们的行为是在制造痛苦的因缘。Okay, so this is very good to remember when somebody else does something that is harmful to you. To remember, oh, that person wants happiness; they don't want suffering. But just as out of ignorance, I do things. That harm myself by harming others. That person also is creating negative karma and harming themselves by harming me. Yeah, they sh- they're not an object of anger; they're an object of my compassion. 
。所以，当我们受害的时候，可能别人做出的行为害到我们，那我们就可以思维到这一点：说，其实他跟我一样，就是因为这个无名，呃，迷惑了。他以为他在制造快乐的因缘，但反而在制造痛苦，所以他从中伤害到我。那我也是一样啊，因为我很迷惑，我也做出的行为也会害到别人。那从中我们就看得到，害我们的人不是我们嗔恨和愤怒的对象，反而是我们要发慈悲心的对象。That's true, isn't it? 不是吗 ？Yeah. When you make a mistake, when each of us makes a mistake. We want other people to be forgiving of us and to be compassionate towards us, and not、uh, just label us as a bad person and think that's all we are. So, if we want other people to behave that way towards us when we make mistakes, then shouldn't we also behave towards them and think like that towards them when they make mistakes? 最好像我们自己犯错误的时候，我们各个犯错误的时候，我们心想是希望大家其他人会对我们会有包容心、宽容心、原谅我们，不是吗？那所以如果我们要其他人这样对待我们的话，当别人给我们受害，我当我们受害的时候，我们也心里可以原谅别人。It makes sense, doesn't it? And it sounds like it's not too difficult to do when you're sitting here in a room, listening to a Dharma talk. It seems, yeah, that's reasonable. I can do that. So, this kind of idea is quite reasonable, isn't it? So, you, especially when you're sitting here listening to Dharma talk, it's very comfortable. 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 Does something you don't like, and then your in, your、uh, intention is out the window. 那我们这种平静的心态只能维持到有人做出我们不喜欢的事情。那马上我们这个意念会马上忘掉。Yeah, and we think if I'm compassionate towards that jerk, then he's going to take advantage of me. Then everybody else is going to think I'm weak. 那当时我们就马上会想到说，哎呀，如果我对这个王八蛋发慈悲心的话，每个人就会欺负我，以为我是懦弱的。Yeah, I've got to stick up for myself against that person. 我要保护我自己，我要为自己站出来。Yeah, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> okay. Really, we're so stupid, aren't we? Yeah, don't you think so? I mean, we're with friends. Can, yeah, I'm stupid sometimes. Are you stupid sometimes? This kind of thinking, this kind of thought, really is stupid, isn't it? We can be honest and say that we're friends, isn't it? I sometimes think that my actions are stupid. Yeah, you're all looking like, what's she doing? Asking me that question. Yeah, you're all looking like, what's she doing? Asking me that question. Yeah, you're all looking like, what's she doing? Asking me that question. You're all looking like, what's she doing? Asking me that question. Yeah, you're all looking like, what's she doing? Asking me that question. Yeah, you're all looking like, what's she doing? Your husband, yeah. Hey, honey, she's talking about you. Aren't you stupid sometimes? Then you, ah, with you, sitting next to the husband, say, "Hey, ah, wife, he's talking about you. He's talking about you." Often, I, I give talks about、um, how to work with anger, and I think people always bring their family members to come and listen to it, and then say. You listen well. She's talking about your anger. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm talking about your anger. <laughs> 那我时常的呃，在演讲的话题是如何对峙我们的愤怒。那我我猜想，很多人会带他们的亲戚朋友来跟他们说：“哎，他在讲你啊，你要怎么去对峙你的愤怒？”不，不是，我是在讲你，你要怎么对峙你的愤怒。Because we we all aspire to be Buddhas, right? Because we here we all aspire to be Buddhas, right? Yeah, you hear about having the Buddha potential, the Buddha nature. Yeah, that we can all be Buddhas. 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 Yeah, that we can all
我们都听到很多教义说，我们每个人都有佛性，我们都有这个潜能，可以成为啊、呃、完全觉醒的佛。But to attain Buddhahood, we have to create the causes. 但是如果我们要成佛的成佛的话，我们也本身要自己制造成佛的因缘。And the principal cause is that bodhicitta motivation that aspires to become a Buddha. In order to be of greatest benefit to other living beings, 那我们成佛的主因就是我们这个发的菩提心愿。我们要发愿成佛，为了利益所有的众生。So to become a Buddha, we need to have bodhicitta. To have bodhicitta, we need to have compassion. 所以，如果我们要成佛，就必须要有发菩提心。要发菩提心的话，之前要先发慈悲心。Okay, so what is compassion? 所以悲心到底是什么 ？Yeah, we often think that compassion means、uh, being a people pleaser. You have? Do you have that expression in Chinese? People pleaser. Not sure. I'll ask. Okay. <laughs> so, 我很多人就误解说发慈发悲心呢，就是叫别人喜欢你。呃，英文说 people pleaser， 华语有没有？相愿。相愿。然后比较比较年轻人想法说中央空调。哦，中央空调。然后 she's giving me the phrase. It's a bit like a, you're like. An aircon trying to cool everybody. That's a that's a kind of the Chinese phrase. Okay. Yeah, it, it's your. Uh, yeah, you want to make everybody happy so that they all like you. 对，那个概念就是说，你这个人就是要使所有的人快乐，因为你要他们喜欢你。嗯，中央空调就是这样哈。相愿，相愿。Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So、uh, it's not that we want to make other people happy because we we want them to be happy. From their side, we want to make them happy so that they'll like us. So we want to make people happy. 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 So we want to make people Sometimes we're quite afraid of compassion because we really think other people will take advantage of us. 那有时我们对发慈悲心会感到有点害怕，因为觉得如果我们有悲心的话，别人就会欺负我们。Yeah, I do a lot of work with、uh, people who are incarcerated, and in prison,、uh, it's there's a feeling like, oh, I, I gotta really be strong in front of. Everybody, otherwise, some of the big guys will take advantage of me. So I have been in prison. In the prison population, many people think that I have to show that I am very strong, otherwise, I will definitely be attacked by some other people. So in prison, standing in line with the other prisoners, in prison, standing in line to get your your food, is very important and. You don't let anybody else come and cut in front of you. So in the prison, when we stand in line to get food and get food, this is a very important thing. If there is anyone who can't let anyone else come in front of you, if there is anyone who can't let anyone else come in front of you, if there is anyone who can't let anyone else come in front of you, if there is anyone who can't let anyone else come in front of you, if there is anyone who can't let anyone else come in front of you, if there is anyone who can't let anyone else come in front of you, if there is anyone who can't let anyone else come in front of you, if there is anyone who can't let anyone else come in front of you, if there is anyone who can't let anyone else come in front of you, if there is anyone who can't let anyone else come in front of you, if You have to take that person on and tell them to get out of there, and maybe even get into a fight with them, a fist fight. So, if in such a situation, if someone is trying to cut you off, you must immediately stand up, immediately stand up to protect yourself, tell them to leave, or maybe start a fight. Yeah, because you can't let somebody else get in front of you. That's just not how it works. Because you can't let somebody else get in front of you. That's just how weak you are. How afraid you are, how stupid you are, you know. Then the, everybody will take advantage of you. You just 万万就不能让一个人这样切在你前面，因为这样会象征你是懦弱的，你是笨的啊，就容易被别人欺负。
So they'll fight over who is in line first, yeah, which usually means that both of them are taken out of the line and don't, neither of them get their food first, and instead they're sent to the hole. The hole is like solitary confinement. 就是为了这种小事，呃，囚犯就开始这样打架、吵架，为了谁在站在谁的前面去领食物，那导致两两者都没有机会用用餐，反而被惩罚。So uh, we got to prove we're strong. Nobody's going to bully me around, and as a result, I'm in the hole for a month or two months, miserable. And I put myself there, just so somebody, because I can't let somebody else get their lunch before me. 就是带着这种态度说，我是强的，没有人可以欺负我，就这样导致自己被受罚，呃，单独一个人关在一个，就是英文叫洞内啊，就是单独一个人闭闭关在那里，就是我造成自己有这种恶劣的下场。so when I talk to the, the guys who are imprisoned about this situation, you know, they said, look, you don't understand, you have to fight if that happens. So when I talk to the prisoners about this situation, they will tell me, you don't understand our situation, we have to fight to fight to fight. But I say to them, you know, there's two different ways of letting somebody else Cut in front of you in line. 但是我会跟他们说，其实你要让一个人切在你前面排队，有两种方式可以这么做。Yeah. So aside from fighting, one way is you're just really nervous because that guy's big and he has a few other gang members behind him, and you're nervous and you're um, um, yeah sure good okay go in front of me yeah fine. 所以除了打架之外呢，有第一个方式就是你很非常非常的在那里战战兢兢啊，看着那个人说：“哎，他有其他的私会党的人在呃给他撑腰啊，那你就在后退，让他先走。” So for sure, if you're terrified like that, then for sure those people will take you advantage of you later. 这如果你是以这种有很大的恐惧感的方式让他先站在你面前，那当然。But I think there's another way to deal with the situation, too. 但是我也觉得有其他的方式处理这种情况。Yeah, you remain centered. You have your own dignity. You're not intimidated by the other person. And so you very calmly, with your own dignity, say, "Please." Come and go before me. 那另外一个方式，你就是站稳自己的中心，保持自己的自尊心，非常的稳定的向另外一方说：“来，你站在我的面前。” And I think if you do that with dignity, because you actually have compassion for the other person, then they're not going to pick on you later, because they'll sense. That that you're grounded and you're clear. 那我觉得就是如果你有这种自信心，带着自尊心，这样跟别人说话，其实你是以慈悲心站稳你的立场，这样对他说话，之后他是不会来欺负你的。So being compassionate means you're grounded and you're clear. You're not intimidated and afraid. 所以有悲心的时候，我们其实是两脚踏稳。踏在地上，非常的嗯，心里非常的清澈，非常的稳定，不是战战兢兢，还有恐惧的的那种感觉。And so sometimes <coughs> with compassion, you have to say things to people that may not be very pleasant for them to hear. 那有时我们要发悲心的时候，我们可能要对别人说他们不想听的话。Okay. I think all of you who are parents, you know that with your children, you love your kids dearly, but you know you have to tell them no sometimes, and you do that out of compassion, hopefully, unless you're just furious. 
<笑>那在场所有的父母一定会了解这一点，因为当你在教导孩子的时候，有时就真的要跟他们说不能这么做，呃，而你是带着悲心而这样对待他们，哈、啊，但是有时可能你也是气坏了。We monastics know that too, because our teachers will zero in and point out our faults. Yeah. And ooh, yeah, but we know they're doing it out of compassion. 那身为出家众也会了解这一点，因为我们自己的师傅都会很直接的指指出我们的缺点、我们的错误，我心里就觉得哎呀，好不舒服。但是我们也心里会了解，他们是以慈悲心而这样要教导我们。At least some. Sometimes we get angry, and then we figure out later that they're actually being compassionate. 反正有时我们其实会先开始愤怒，那之后回想起来才了解到，哦，其实师傅是对我慈悲。Yeah, right? 不是吗 ？The monastics in the back. 坐在后面的僧众不是吗 ？Yeah. Do your teachers sometimes go? <laughs> 你的师傅是不是偶尔会这样直接指出你们的缺点呢 ？Yeah, my teacher sometimes I would be quite upset about something, and or I feel guilty about something, and I'd go in and I'd tell and confess and this and that, and how badly I felt or how upset I was because of what somebody did. And then my teacher would he would go like this, and he would listen, and then he'd go. Then, that's all he'd say. <laughs> then, <laughs> well, you don't understand. Somebody said this, and then they said this. Oh, da 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 da. You know, I'm having this big drama, and my teacher just goes, "Then." So, when I'm feeling very difficult, I go to my teacher to complain to him. I say, "Oh, this person is not nice to me," or "I'm very upset with him." I feel very uncomfortable. I'm very upset with him. I talk to my teacher a lot. 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 Then, 对，还有什么？还有什么？就这样讲。我就跟他说：“你完全不了解我，我真的是好辛苦。”他语就说：“还有什么 ？”And one time, he was telling, he told me that some guy who was just driving me crazy and harming me so much. He told me that that guy was kinder to me than the Buddha. 那有一次有一个人真的在害我，使我真的是很难受。那我找师傅帮忙的时候，他跟我说，这个人比佛陀还要对你慈悲。That guy is kinder than the Buddha. 那个人比佛陀还要慈悲。Yeah. So you see, compassion has to go very broad. It's not just for our friends; it's for all those people we can't stand. We have to get over the mind that can't stand them. So, when we have compassion, it's actually a very broad mind. It's not just for our friends; it's for all those people we can't stand. We have to get over the mind that can't stand them. 而也要不能忽略到那些我们完全不能，呃，就是使我们觉得很很讨厌的人。Yeah. To have compassion, we've got to get over the mind that says it's not fair. <笑>如果我们真正要发慈悲心的话，我们也要克服那种心态，对对别人说，哎，这真的是很不公平。And get over the mind that says, "I work so hard and nobody appreciates me." We need to overcome that kind of mindset that says, "Oh, I work so hard and nobody appreciates me. No one is happy to see me. No one is happy to see my work." And get over the mind that says, 
you don't realize how much I've suffered for you. <laughs> 我们要克服那种心态说，你不了解我为你受了多么多苦。yeah, you should have some gratitude for everything I've sacrificed for you. 我为你牺牲了这么多，你应该感激我. Okay, so all these dramas are personal dramas. Yeah, we have to put them down if we're going to have compassion. 就我们这些在内心的连续剧吧，自己扮演的连续剧啊，情绪好激昂，我们真的要把它给放下，不然我们是无法啊可以培养真正的慈悲心。Because compassion doesn't mean I'm nice to you and now you owe me something. 因为真正的慈悲心不是说我对你好。yeah. Shanti Deva, the eighth century Indian sage, uh, talked about how when the foot steps on a thorn, the hand reaches down and pulls the thorn out of the foot, and then life goes on. That's it. 所以在巴斯基的几天菩萨，他有谈过，嗯，当你好，就好像你的脚踩到什么东西时，脚痛的时候，就就好像你的手这样下去把它抓出来，然后你的抓得出来之后，你就这样直接继续走下去。那慈
So similarly, if we look at other living beings and we say we together are part of this community of sentient beings, then helping one another with compassion is just what you do, like how the hand helps the foot. So if we think that other people are like us, we are the same, the same community. 这么说，那我们就看得到说，如果我去利益其他的众生，就在利益我自己。Yeah, makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, I would love to teach that to President Trump. <笑>这很符合逻辑嘛，不是吗？我心是多么想跟呃，川普总总统这么说。Yeah, don't you think he needs some dharma? 你觉得川普同总统需要学习佛法吗 ？Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is what compassion is. It's just helping somebody because they exist. 那慈悲心就是这么简单。我们帮人就是因为他们存在，就这只有这个理由呃去帮他。Yeah. No expectation in return. We don't expect that he will give us anything. Because when our m i 已经是够足够的呃回报了。Because bodhisattvas feel totally blissed out when they can help somebody. 因为菩萨当有机会帮助别人的时候，心里是多么的快乐，多么的喜悦。Yeah. So when they get a chance to help somebody, it's like, oh, goody. <laughs> 那菩萨有机会帮别人的时候，心里就想，哎，太好了。They say when bodhisattvas see a beggar who says, "Give me something, give me something," then bodhisattvas feel more joy than an arhat feels at their own liberation. Isn't that amazing? So, the Buddha said, "If a bhikkhu sees a beggar who asks him for something, give me something, they feel so much joy that they have this chance to help others. Even if they see the beggar who asks for something, they feel so much joy that they have this chance to help others." Wouldn't it be nice to be like that? We can be like the Buddha, but is it not good? So we get like that by training our mind. So if we want to be like the Buddha, it is from training our mind. Yeah, we get like that by ev everywhere we go, looking at the living beings around us and thinking they want happiness and they don't want suffering as intensely as I do, and they deserve happiness. So we need to start understanding the Buddha's viewpoint. So when we go around, we can think of other people who are the same as us. So we can think of other people who are the same as us. Yeah, so you practice that over and over again. Yeah, especially when you're in a traffic jam. This is a very good time to practice this. So we just continue to practice this mindfulness. Especially when you're in a traffic jam. This is a very good time to practice this mindfulness. All these other people. Want to get where they're going as intensely as I want to get where I'm going. So, in traffic, we look at the surrounding people, like me, all want to go to some place, like me, all want to go to the car. Yeah, somebody cuts me off on the highway. Yeah. Oh, that person must have something urgent. Please go ahead. So, in 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 on the road traffic, sometimes someone's car cuts us off in front. We feel like, oh, he must have something urgent. That's fine. Let him go. Yeah. No road rage. You won't have any road rage on the road. Yeah. How many of you have road rage? How do you say road rage in Chinese? Road rage. Road rage. 
暴露、no、暴露。所以这里到底有几个人有驾驶的时候会有暴露？ It's always those other people who have road rage.、Right? 真的没有人吗？都是其他人才有在驾驶的时候有暴怒吗 ？Yeah, when you cut them off, they have road rage. 所以当你你在呃切在别人驾驶下车的时候，切在别人的前面，是他们才暴怒。But when 是是 they cut you off. You're just so big-hearted and magnanimous. 那别人把车子呃架在你前面，切入你前面的时候，反正你是非常慈悲的，是你多么的宽容，让他们先走，是不是这样 ？Yeah. Okay. Well,、um, so much for that. <laughs> <laughs> 哎呀，原来就是谈到这样。<laughs> okay. So I think you're getting the idea. Hopefully, what、uh, something about compassion. So, 希望大家开始了解到底慈悲心啊、uh, 要怎么去运作，到底是什么，开始有一点点的观念。Yeah, and how to generate compassion? We really have to see the faults of our own selfish mind, and then restrain that selfishness. 如果我们真的要去发呃慈悲心的话，我们也要开始看到我们自私自利的行为和态度的弊处，这样我们才会开始约束自己。And when we get angry at somebody, we have to learn the antidotes to anger and then put them into practice. 那当我们对别人生气的时候，我们才会去学对治愤怒的那些呃。的方法，开始修持对治愤怒的方式。Yeah, so Dharma practice isn't just being at the temple and chanting, you know, Namo Amitabha, Namo Amitabha, Namo Amitabha, Ah, Namo Amitabha. 所以，当我们谈到修行佛法，不只是是来到呃佛堂啊念佛啊，那阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛是其其实心里完全不专注。And it's not just having jaw sticks and waving your jaw sticks. 而不只是在烧香拜佛。Yeah, but it's really every day how we react towards other living beings. That's the real test of our Dharma practice. 因为真正考验到我们的修行到了什么程度，是在我们生活中如何跟其他的众生互动，如何对他们的反应。And so, to be able to practice the Dharma in those situations, we need first to study the Dharma and know the Buddha's teachings, so we know how to deal with difficult emotions. And second, to practice those antidotes in our daily meditation practice. So, to be able to practice the Dharma in those situations, we need first to study the Dharma and know the Buddha's 起初，我们要先去听闻佛法，自己学习到底佛法的教义是什么。然后之后，我们在静坐就开始慢慢的练习对治我们不同的烦恼。But if we、uh, exert the effort to study and then contemplate and meditate on the teachings, and we really set that up as a habit, then when difficulties arrive in arise in our life. Will immediately be able to know what teaching to practice and how to transform our attitude. 那如果我们有去静静的学佛，然后在静坐的时候去思维到佛陀的教义，那在在日常生活中遇到不同的情况，我们就可以马上啊实践佛法。Okay, 好不好 ？Okay, so now time for questions, comments. Whatever. 那现在有一点时间，让大家一起来跟我对话，有要发问也可以。So you're saying that on social media you find only opinions that agree with yours? You want to see the other side, yeah?、Uh, go out and meet some people who have different views, and talk to them, and you know, say why do you believe what you believe? 哎，等一下，停一下，你要自翻吗？<笑>那个那个问题。<笑>脸书跟谷歌的搜寻现在会依照我们自己的偏好去做设定。那呃，在这样的情况下，我们只会听到我们同文层的意见跟声音。那我刚刚问法师是说，呃，我们要怎么样听见
另外一个观点，然后不会执着在我们自己的观点跟意见里面。那法师的回答是说，我们应该不要。执着在网络上，应该出去外面认识不一样的人，特别是我们平常不会交涉的人。那问他们为什么意见跟我们不一样，这样就可以听到他们的观点。谢谢你。<笑>嗯、Thank you very much for your very inspiring speech.、Um, in the in the end, you mentioned that we could go and learn about the Dharma, and after that, we kind of know contemplate and meditate on that, and then.、Um, In case difficult emotions arise,、uh, we can really, you know, put the dharma or the meditation result into practice. Ideally, this sounds very good, because、um, in the real life, it may not really happen like this. For example, suddenly you encounter, or I encounter, a very difficult、uh, em emotion. I I couldn't realize why I got angry at certain things, and then. Okay, maybe with prior training, I realize that I have to pause, and then you know, look into the anger. But you don't have so much reaction time.、Mm -hmm. So how do we deal with this? We are not prepared for the arising of a difficult situation. OK， 呃，所以我刚刚问法师的问题是说，刚刚法师在结论的时候说过说，呃，我们可能先去学法，之后的话在静坐当中去观察到这个法，然后最后碰到当日常生活当中碰到状况或者是碰到比较难以去处理的情绪的时候，就可以把法用上。我我的回应是说，我的问题是说，这很理想，但是万一我们碰到是说我们准备不及的。你事先没有碰到这个状况会发生，然后都产生了，你没有那个反应时间，那怎么办 ？Thank you very much. We have to practice. You know, we call it Dharma practice. The word practice in, implies repetition. So the only way to retrain our mind is to repeatedly. Think in another way, okay? There's no shortcut to that. <laughs> yeah, and so that's why having a daily meditation practice is so useful, because when you do that, you repeat the thing in your mind. You become more familiar with it. You know, it does happen that we we you know we blow it in the actual situation. When that happens, then in the evening we sit down, we think about the situation, and we ask ourselves, "Why did I get angry? What was my button that was pushed that made me angry? If such a thing happened again, how else could I look at the situ situation? What are other ways I could、uh, think so that I don't have anger in my mind?" Okay, so you use the situation that happened as the basis for、uh, training in another way to look at it. When we talk about meditation, we should definitely practice repetition. 嗯、um, ，我们要就是不断一一直要啊、uh, 反复的去思维佛法，我们要转变我们的信念，我们要调伏我们的心，是没有快速的其他的方式，就是要在那里慢慢的反复的这样熟练。所以，当我们有每天有静坐的话，这可以护持我们这么做。所以，当有如果。我们在修学佛法的当中呢，有有时可能也会失去控制嘛，在困境之下就跟大家跟别人发脾气，那这会变成我们可以继续修学佛法的一个机会，因为发了脾气之后，我们还是回来我们的静坐，回来我们的静下来思维说，说为什么我会这么做，为什么还是会失去控制，我心里到底发生了什么事，有什么嗯。英文说按钮啊，就是一个很很痛的一个地方，对吗？人家按了，我就马上会这样，没有没有时地雷，对，好像踩到地雷这样反驳他们。所以你这样用内心这样去看，就把这种情况转转变为我们学习的一个一个资粮。Thank you for the inspiring talk. 
，嗯，我的问题是说，我了解那个无我是比较执着这样子，但是在生活上、工作上总是有一些目标。那有没有什么比较，呃，实际的方式可以区别说，到底怎样是太执着，或是怎样是太不认真这样子？ <laughs> so I understand that when we talk about selflessness, it has to do with releasing our attachment. But you know, in our daily life, in our work, in our life, we have goals. So how do I tell the difference between when I'm too attached to an outcome and when I'm just simply I don't I'm too lackadaisical and I don't care? How do I tell the difference between the two? Well, first of all.、Uh, Dharma does, practicing Dharma does not mean that you have no goals. Okay, I mean we have the goal of attaining Buddhahood. We have the goal of developing compassion and wisdom. So definitely we have goals. Yeah. 当我们呃谈到修学佛法的时候，不表示说我们没有目标，因为我们呃身为呃佛弟子，我们的目标就是要成佛。Okay. Now our goals are different than worldly goals. So, as a practicing Buddhist student, our goals are different from worldly goals. Yeah, worldly goals are the ones that we get attached to, and we can tell we're attached to them because when we think of not getting them or when we don't get them, our heart shakes. <laughs> you know, we we get quite unhappy. 所以，对我们是对这些世俗的目标而产生我们的执着的心态。那我们怎么留意到我们有执着呢？就是当我们想到我得不到这个目标，还是我会失去这个目标的时候，我们心里就开始很震撼。So attachment is a setup for unhappiness and disappointment. 所以，当我们有执着的时候，必定会失望，必定会痛苦。And attachment is a setup for anger. When we have a negative attitude, we will definitely have anger. Okay. So you can see if you're getting unhappy, if you're getting disillusioned, if you're getting angry, there's some attachment in the mix there. So if your heart starts to be unhappy, and you see that you're getting very angry, you can see that there's some attachment in the mix there. So if your heart starts to be unhappy, and you see that Yeah, lackadaisical is just like, oh well, whatever. You don't care much. That when we are not concerned, it seems like we are just like, oh well, whatever. You don't care much. Yeah, but having a good motivation, a Dharma motivation, is you care and you know、uh, what direction you want to go in, and you know it's a virtuous direction, and so you go in that direction. 当当当我们有啊、uh, 符合佛法的那种动机，符符合佛法的意念的时候，其实我们的心是非常的清清呃、uh, 清晰的。我们看得到，我是要往善呃、uh, 的方向而走。That makes some sense. <laughs> so should we go, give up all the worldly goals? <laughs> <laughs> well. It's not a question of should. It's a question of what results do you want, and then knowing what the results that you want are, creating the causes for those results. So here, we so we just so we should just give up our worldly goals. 那法就法师就是说，这不是一个应该不应该的问题，我们是要了解到我们要有什么果报，要有什么后果，呃，去思维我们要有这种后果，要制造什么因缘，那从中就很清楚要怎么去啊、呃，继续我们要怎么做，就变成很清楚。You kind of think of well, what are the results of my worldly aspirations? What are the results of my dharma aspirations? Which ones, you know, are more valuable to me, and then create the corresponding causes. That doesn't mean that we have to change our whole life at once and put on a lot of shoulds. You know, it's a thing of really generating understanding and clarity in our mind、uh, regarding 
uh, what kind of person we want to become and what we want to experience in the future. 所以我们可以在思维说，如果我们一直在追寻世俗的目标，还是如果我发放放我的努力去呃追寻在修行上的目标，后果是什么？然后我想到这些后果的时候，是怎么样的目标对我比较有意义？所以如果我们这样思维的话，我们的行为的后果，我们如果我们在那里思维说我要成为怎么样的一个人？那我们要怎么去生活下去，就变成比较清楚。那也不不代表说我们就在刹刹那间要把整个生活这样完全改变。不不不，不要说一直对自己说应该这么做，应该这么做。嗯，就是很理智的去思维我们的呃动作的因果，嗯呃那个后果，那那你就会了解说应该怎么做。嗯，谢谢，可能需要回去想一下。I need to go back and think about it. Yeah, good. 很好 Right, exactly, exactly. 谢谢。好，谢谢。请问法师，呃，有些时候，也许我们会做了一些觉得很自责的事情，或者是对别人造成了重大的伤害。这个时候，我们是不是可能？可以有更慈悲的方式来面对一切，要请法师给我们建议。So sometimes we may do things that cause us to feel a very strong sense of self-reproach, especially if we recognize that we've harmed other beings in a in a extensive way. So do you have suggestions on a more compassionate approach to view such situations? And could you give some examples? Yeah. Ah.、Uh, Okay, we need to learn how to forgive ourselves, and、uh, the purification process、uh, is a very good method to、uh, forgive ourselves. So we, 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 That we do this by means of what's called the four opponent powers. So the first one is regretting our our action, N- not having guilt, but do having regret. So this is in Zhang Shuan Fu Jiao. We have taught one called the four opponent powers. Hmm. That the first opponent power is first to regret our action. 呃，后悔还是悔过，但这跟罪恶心是完全不一样的。The second is transforming our attitude towards whoever it was we harmed. So, if we did something against the three jewels, we do that by taking refuge in them. If we do something, did something towards other sentient beings, we change our attitude by developing compassion and bodhicitta towards them. 那第二种对峙力呢，就是要转换我们对啊、呃、以前伤害的对象的那种心态。所以可能如果我们伤伤害到三宝，那我们就可以发皈依的心态去去皈依三宝。如果我们伤害的是其他的众生，我们就要发慈悲心。Okay, then we do some remedial behavior. Um, you know, it could be some kind of virtuous action. It could be, you know, chanting the names of the Buddha or volunteering for a charity, some sort of virtuous action. 那第三种，那第三个对峙力呢，就是啊，做出什么行动弥补我们对别人的伤害。那那可能就是念佛号，还是去做到慈善机构去做义工。嗯，这某某呃种种的善行都可以这么这么想。And then fourth is making a determination to really try and avoid that action again in the future. 那第四个对峙力就是发愿说，你将来嗯，就是尽力而为，不要再重新做这个呃，重重新犯错。So it's really important when you do those four, at the end, really say, "Now I've purified that action." You know, you of course you can do. The four opponent powers again and again and again, because we may not have purified the whole thing. But even if we haven't purified the whole thing, 
we do say to ourselves, "Okay, now I've purified it." 所以，当我们修这个四对治心的法门的时候，当我们呃这样思维的时候，当做完这四个动作之后，我们应该对自己说：“我已经净化了我的行为。”虽然我们可能要反复的一直这样做，但是最重要的是做做这个四对治心的法门之后，心里要想：“我已经净化了我的心。” Because having very strong self-reproach and guilt, that's not very helpful. Because when we have very strong self-reproach and guilt, that's not very helpful. Because when we have very strong self-reproach and guilt, that's not very helpful. Because when we have very strong self-reproach and guilt, that's not very helpful. Because when we have very strong self-reproach and guilt, that's not very helpful. Because when we have very strong self-reproach and guilt, that's not very helpful. Because when we have very strong self-reproach and guilt, that's not very helpful. Because when we have very strong self-reproach and guilt, that's not very helpful. Because when we have very strong self-reproach and guilt, that's not very helpful. Because when we have very strong self-reproach and guilt, that's not very helpful. Because when we have very strong self-reproach and guilt, that's not very helpful. Because when we have very strong self-reproach and guilt, that's not very helpful. Because when we have very strong self-reproach and guilt, that's not very helpful. Because when we have very strong self-reproach and guilt, that's not very helpful. 因为其实这种想法是带有很多自我中心。因为当我们在自责的时候，就在那里一直想我们自己是多么的坏。So that makes our mind quite narrow, and we can't look around and look at other people's experience and have compassion for them, because we're so engrossed. Just, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. 那我们有这种想法的时候，反而心胸心胸变得非常的狭窄，不能扩开阔我们的视野，看到其他的众生啊，要怎么去利益他们，怎么去发慈悲心，反而全程专注于说我是坏人，我是坏人，我是坏人。Okay. So we have to have some compassion and kindness towards ourselves too. I made a mistake. I regret it. I'm making amends, and then I put it down. 所以我们也要对我们自己发慈悲心。我就是我能原谅我自己的过错，我现在要弥补我的过错，那之后我就把它这样放下。Okay, this will be the last question. 那这是最后一个问题。呃，法师你好，呃，我买了一本就是法师的著作。When life meets Dharma,、mm-hmm. in Chinese. Mm-hmm. 那其中其中有一个有一个地方，我想呃，就是希望法师可以给我们一个具体的例子。呃，因为他提到说，幽默感可以帮助我们不要落入自我憎恨的陷阱中。那其实调侃自己是很有趣的，修行是很有趣的。那呃，可是他就讲到这，没有再继续讲下去。所以我我希望今天可以。可以提供给我们一些方法，然后结束之后可以帮我签个名。哎<笑><笑>，所以 ，Yes， she bought the book when life meets Dharma, the one that Teresa、yeah. uh, translated, and she read a section in there that in which you mentioned that humor is very important in our practice, and laughing at ourselves is one way that we learn to let go of this mind of self-reproach. So that that's where the book stops. So could you please give an example of how to do that and how to put that into practice?、Uh. And after you do that, could you please sign the book? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll give you.、Um, I'll give you an example. What's an example?、Um, well, I remember one time. This was many years ago. I was、uh, doing meditation retreat, and、uh, sitting there meditating, and then I thought. I bet my teacher, you know, he must have clairvoyant powers, and he sees what an excellent practitioner I am, how good I am doing this retreat. So, 好几年前我在峰山闭关的时候呢，我在静坐的时候，我的心里就想。啊，我的师傅一定已经证了神通。那他已经用他的天眼看得到我是多么好的一个修行者，在这里封山闭关修行的多么好。And then when I realized that that thought proved exactly the opposite, that I wasn't doing a very good retreat and I wasn't a very good practitioner, then I just cracked up laughing in the middle of my meditation. Yeah. 所以，当我那时候观察到有这种心念，马上就了解，哎，其实这是完全的反反，这反反方面的想法，对吗？我会有这种呃理念，一定是代表说我其实不是一个很好的修行者，这整个闭关的方式其实不是做的很好，所以当时我就马上开始笑自己。And I think you saw me. 
uh, the beginning part of the talk, I hope I use some humor, um, you know, exaggerating how we think and how we act sometimes. Could you laugh at yourself a little bit at the beginning of the talk? Or were you all offended by what I said? <laughs> you know, when I was pointing out, oh, maybe you were all offended. Oh dear. <laughs> you know. So, 好像刚才开讲座开始的时候啊，我指出我们自己的这种夸大我们这些错误的想法，你们会觉得是幽默吗？还是反而觉得哎，我冒犯了大家？哎呦，可能真的是冒犯了大家哦。<笑> so you know, just sometimes, uh, what I do is is I dramatize the you know the negative emotion I'm having, um, and then it it you know I have to laugh because it's so absurd. 所以有时我起烦恼的时候，我就要把它演练出来，把它戏剧化，我就看得出它是多么的呃荒唐。Okay. For another example, maybe somebody uh, did something, and I got angry, or I was offended, and I'm sitting there going, "That person needs to apologize. They need to apologize. How dare they treat me like that?" So, 举多一个例子说，可能有人做了什么事情冒犯我，那我在那里坐在那里，心里就很非常的愤怒，那里在想，这个人做错的事情，他一定要跟我道歉。Yeah, I can't forgive them until they apologize. They, 除了道歉之外，我是不会再原谅他们的。Yeah, and then I'll I'll see that you know what I'm thinking is you know, there's that person there on his hands and knees crawling up the aisle, saying, "I'm so sorry, I hurt you. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me." 那时候我就会观想说，这个害我的人啊，趴在地上啊，用手用脚这样爬着，就好像在这走廊这样爬向我说：“哎呀，我做错了，求求你，请原谅我。Yeah. ” and, and so I dramatize it, you know, because wouldn't it be nice if they were really regretful, and you know, and they just felt so bad because of how much they harmed me. And so I dramatize it like that in my mind. And then I, you know, then I have to laugh at myself. 对我就是这样在心里把整个情况这样戏剧化，因为真的是多么好嘛，就害我的人这样求我原谅他，让我不是觉得很快乐吗？所以我这样戏剧化的时候，我就会了解到我的想法其实是很很，其实是很荒唐的。Okay, okay so let's dedicate the merit. 那好，我们现在回向功德。Do you think we created any merit? 你觉得我们今晚一起分享有没有呃累积什么功德呢 ？Yeah, we started out. We cultivated a good motivation. We did something useful for with our mind, and now we want to dedicate the merit uh, for the full awakening of ourself and all other living beings. 所以开始的时候，我们一起有发心，一起培养一个好的动机，然后一起听法，要调伏我们的心。那现在我们就回向所有的功德，希望我们能成佛利益所有的众生。Okay, and so tell them the meaning of our. 啊，是我们现在会呃送我们在道场送的用英文的回向记，那也是那是从藏文翻译过来的，那就是说呃，因为我们愿意此功德呃。不，不是愿，对不对？啊，愿愿意我们的功德，呃，变成完全觉醒的佛。那我们以升起的菩提心，但愿它会持续下去。呃，未升起的菩提心，但愿我们将来可以制造因缘，使菩提心发起。大概是这样。And then after we dedicate, we have. Some blessed pills, and so tell them about those. 那在回向之后呢，法师也有带来一些甘露丸跟大家结缘。那那是在达拉沙拉达达赖喇嘛尊者的大殿那里，很多僧众一起念那个持咒来呃加持这些甘露丸。所以你们可以呃前来跟法师结缘啊，请这些甘露丸。呃
要怎么运用呢？就是说，你可以把它放在水里面啊，然后在观慈心的时候啊，喝这个水啊，还是观想千手观音在你的头顶上啊发光。如果你有呃、啊、亲戚朋友呃、啊、有生病还是呃、啊、有什么需要的话，你可以请给他们用。Due to this merit, may we soon attain the awakened state of Guru Buddha, that we may be able to liberate all sentient beings from their suffering. May the precious body mind, not yet born, arise and grow. May that born have no decline, but increase forevermore. Okay. Good. Shishi.